many other types of cooling bath we can do that use a, a solvent and something to cool it with. Liquid nitrogen is another common way. Um, a liquid nitrogen combination with another solvent is a really common uh, method. One of them that gets really close to dry ice and acetone is liquid nitrogen and ethyl acetate. So if you can't get dry ice for whatever reason, that's a good alternative. I think there's only a few degrees difference between the two. But that means we have to highlight how to get liquid nitrogen. So this is our uh, nitrogen tank. Um, it's called a doer or a lock set. Um, and then we're going to use that small handheld doer on the floor. We're going to get some liquid nitrogen into that. And then have that on hand to do our, uh, to make our cold bath with. So, but we need some PPE when dealing with liquid nitrogen. So we have these cryo gloves. Um, they're just gloves that will help protect your hands from the liquid nitrogen from the cold. So we'll go ahead and put those on. And then this face shield just to protect us also from splashes and um, just extra protection. Of course, you'll be wearing goggles or um, safety glasses as well. Goggles are a better idea. I think required for this lab too. One of our first step is to take our, our handheld doer here and we'll put our rubber hose in it. Pretty straightforward. Um, I got the little cap on this way out. Then here on the top of the canister, there's this valve for the liquid. We just want to open it slightly. But with our other hand, we want to be holding onto this tube because when cut, the gas starts coming out, it might make this tube go flying out and go all over the place. So at first, we'll hear the gas sticking out. The tube's going to kind of stick. That means it's cooling down. You gotta get it to a kind of nice. Well. So at first we're just going to be cooling down the inside of the doer since it's basically room temperature and the liquid nitrogen is quite a bit colder than that. It's got to cool down that interior of that doer before it can condense and stay liquid in there. So it should be getting pretty close. My vapor's kind of chilly on my arm so I'm going to do it now. And we should be filling now. We get down here closer. Sounds more like liquid instead of gas right around. Yeah, we're going to see splashes at the top. Also, you can see here, the gas is cold coming up through that thing and it will shrink the joint and then leak out. So it's really hard to seal those joints with the liquid nitrogen since they shrink so much. So, and we just so for a little while, this takes a little bit, probably five to ten minutes to fill up. Um, depending on how much you need. You don't have to fill it full, of course. So, we'll bring it back in when we're ready for the next part. We want to make our um, ethyl acetate and um, ice bath. So, to, uh, yes, to stop this, of course, we just shut off our liquid nitrogen at the top. And the hose is going to be stiff, so kind of work your way out of it if you can. And if you can't, you'll have to wait until the hose is flexible again. It's going to warm it up, and then you can remove it. You can tap your door and do it. So.